Holy Detroit Rock City. What? Congrats. Except for, those, except for those new helmets fucking stinks. Whoa, whoa, that new logo is yeah. awesome. Sweet. Put them on everything. Sweet. New, new helmets stink. That. No, no, new logos are awesome. Put them on everything. Yes, yeah, I love it. Hats, helmets, yeah, Dan, yep. jerseys. One of Dan's kids drew it. Abs yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I don't love the lion on it, and I I, I would have. So the what? lion. That's on awesome. Put yeah, that yeah. everywhere. It's the skinniest no. lion I've ever seen. It's sick. Yeah, look at that thing. It, it, it's a It's a fit. It's a it's an Ozempic I wish, lion. Yeah. <laughs> I wish the face masks were white as well. I don't like Ooh. the gray face mask with Oh, them. they're course, wearing Dan. a gray oh. jersey, Dan. I wish the players were white with inside of them. <laughs> yeah. I wish the the mask was yeah. white. We get it, Dan. Eye black was white. We get it. Okay, jeez, <laughs> Louise. That, that, that thing's gonna go viral. That, well, that I doubt. No, nah, it's Friday. <laughs> yeah. It's Friday. Yeah, man. no one's on here. And who cares? But <laughs> yeah. uh, that whole helmet hitting the internet and. I've been learning a lot about this particular guy, too. Feels like a guy you want in your camp. Yeah. Dog. I, I watched his uh, yeah. a standard day for him, and I don't know if that's just bullshit or not. I feel like it's not. You watch it, though, you can think, there's no way this human's doing this every single day. And then you look at him. Yeah. He has eight-pack. Oh, yeah. Properly jocked. Properly jocked. Seemingly just all in on football. Carries around the jug. Yep. It oh, doesn't yeah. care. Always hydrated. Car Golfing with the boys a little bit. Great yep. singer in the rookie, you know, showcase. Yeah. yeah, good. Feels like this is a guy you want on your team. So congrats to the Lions finding him. But if what you're saying about golf still having it Man. and MCDC, they lose Deuce Staley, right? Deuce Staley yep. went down to, to Carolina. Carolina. Yep. I don't know how much that was for tone and culture setting, but I'm sure they'll get past that. But what a time to be a Detroit Lions fan. Kind of a dumb question because he has done this and has been to a Super Bowl, but is – but that was under McVay. Is Jared Goff still or a good enough quarterback to win the, win the NFC and go to the Super Bowl? Yes, because of the situation that he's in. Um, you know, I still think that Jared is one of the like the most naturally pure throwers I've ever been around. He's he's just one of those guys that you have to protect. If Jared's protected and he will be in Detroit, he can throw it just as good as anybody in that conference. Um because of the natural ability that he has, like you, you can do a lot of different. And, and Jared's game of throwing the ball between ten and twenty-five yards, like that intermediate range, it's pure, man. It's really good. I think Detroit's offensive line should be a top three unit. Jameer Gibbs, I honestly believe, is going to be north of fifteen hundred yards from scrimmage, pushing two thousand yards. There was people that were mad that he game. got drafted. Oh yeah, still are. There's people mad he got drafted. Marks. Dude, I think he's just going to be used in such a – I think he's going to be a Debo Samuel type of player. That's the way that they'll use him. And that makes it so – he's going to catch four screens a game for 50-plus yards. So put that, you know, in the books for Jared Goff. Yeah, I think so. Just because of the confidence Jared has right now too. Like, you know, the, the uh, that first year in Detroit, I know just in conversation with them was tough. It was tough to have – think about it. Like, you got Sean McVay moving on from you. You know, one of the most respected minds and leaders in the NFL saying, not good enough for me anymore. And whether that was Sean's feelings or not, like that's definitely the public perception. And that was the perception that Jared had, you know, of like, dang, this coach, you know, moved moved on from me within 24 months of going to the Super Bowl or however what it was. I think Jared, because if you, if you took Jared and he was in Tampa Bay, I would not feel that way. But because of the situation that he's in, the play car, Ben Johnson, the talent that he has around him, oh, yeah. yeah, I think they're. I think he's good enough, absolutely. How about that? A couple years ago, Tampa wins a Super Bowl. Now, yep. Dan's like, because he's in Detroit, yep. I feel good yeah. about it. That's a good for search. Detroit, man. Let's go, Dan. Dan, Dan. So let's be clear. Yeah. This is the year the Detroit Lions are going to go 10-7 and seven and win a playoff game. Is that what you're saying to me right now? Oh, I absolutely think – I think 10-7 and seven is the bar. I, I honestly think 10-7, and wow. seven, you'd sit there and be like, man, you let Whoa. a game or two go away. Okay. Uh, Whoa, holy. this is the standard now. No longer a dream. No, nah, no. Nah. This is what we're doing around here. Love it, Dan. Game or two, that yeah, means 12-5. I, I, I think Detroit's going to be really good this year. I think that Campbell kid's going to Hell yeah. very Thank much you. so surprise people. Yes. Um, surprise me. I, yeah. I've said this. Philly's the team to beat in the NFC. There's no doubt about that. San Francisco is right there. And then I think it's Detroit is the third best team. Wow. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Whoa! Let's Whoa. go!